And now, here we go. The third and final phase of this competition. As I've said before, there are elemental boxes, which you can see are over there. Five in total, all with their epic features and accessories combined. In this case, though, we're just going to have some fun, a little thing that I refer to as Flipper Frenzy. Because all it is, is just straightaways, a 180, and almost all of the flippers that were included in all five of these stun packs. And basically, in place of regular connectors between straight tracks, we have these pieces. It's a common thing nowadays that they will sometimes include their own exclusive molded bits just to showcase their signature flair. But in light of this, phase three is basically going to have the toxic set, cold, air, fire, and lightning all combined together in the form of all the flippers for the most part. However, this checkered flag segment, which came from the toxic lineup, is going to act as the end gate to this. The real goal here is to go through all the flippers and make it through this piece right here with a little leeway in addition to that. If any of them succeed, then well, this is pretty much just what it is. So, I got 40 cars to start up. But I can imagine things are going to get dicey in here and probably crowded as well. So, I basically am going to do what it takes here. How many winners can get through this whole thing? Let's see what happens now. Another thing that's worth mentioning is, unlike Phase 2, I now have my grabber. And so, I'm going to set it off to the side just in case any of them get too far out without me being able to reach. And so... Let's go ahead and get started. First model of today will be Crazy 8s. Only goal, come through here, make it through the 180, and then hit this piece. A checkered flag sort of piece. Well, got pretty close. But let's just see if we can do more than just a little close. Well, not exactly what I had in mind, so one more time. There you go. So, one winner right off the bat. And now let's go ahead and use the Volvo 850 for our second contestant. Well, barely touches it, but that's a good success. Now we have ourselves Mock It Go, a new for 2022 model. All right, got a little far from there, but pretty much enough to at least give us some leeway. So that way we could focus on our charge. Didn't make it, so let's try for a third time. And not quite, so I'll just set it off to the side for now. And now let's try ourselves the mini truck. Nice work. Now let's do the Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione. Now, oh, barely touches it. And that's two fails so far. And if there's a third one, then it's going to be joining up alongside Mock It Go. On second thought, that's basically good enough for a win which is good by my book at least. So, time for Circle Tracker. Excellent work. Here we have a model called Audacious, which this one, it comes from the color shifters line. So, one fail. And that's two.
And that's three. So, I'm gonna join up the sidelines with Mock It Go, and now we're moving on to the Jaguar Project 8. So that's one fail. That's two. And let's try to avoid a third fail. Yes, that doesn't fare well. So, so far we got five winners and three have lost so far. Let's see if the Dodge Charger Daytona can make it. Whoa. Yeah, that didn't do well. Just fobbled around on the fire flipper. Twice in a row. Okay. And, yeah. That's not going to do very well for you. Let's try Ice Shredder. Oh, comes pretty close to achieving a victory. This might be the first time that it's ever had a victory, pretty much. Unless if I can consider one other time where it might have gotten a victory then, but I don't really know for sure. Okay. So that's two fails for Ice Shifter, and how can it do on the third try? Not so good, I guess. Five fails so far, and still got a ways to go here. Time for the Corvette C8. And almost makes it to the end goal. Well, that's two fails. Didn't quite get as far as last time, but I'm still hoping that for a 2020 model, it does all right. Sorry. That's pretty much just that. Impavita 1 is gonna be up next. Nicely done. So that's another win, first in a little while. Two Muff comes next. Barely goes through the gates, but actually succeeds. Surprisingly, at least. Porsche 911 GT3 is going to follow suit. So let's hope. Okay, and that's one fail. And that's two fails. Let's just hope that it can actually get even further than the first time. I'm suspecting that the flippers are causing it to slow down every time they pass through, so there you go. That's a significant challenge, if you will. Now it's time for Electro Silhouette. Well, it gets pretty close, but still, not quite enough to consider a victory. Barely touches it, so there you go. Joins up alongside the other winners, making it a total of eight. Let's see if Drift Tech can add nine racers. And it can. Nicely done. Here's another good model I own, the Mustang Convertible. Guess not. Let's try a second time with a little more power. And that's just enough to do it. DeLorean DMC-12. This one's a great model that I have in my collection. And it succeeds. Excellent. High IQ is also a nice model that I own. But I guess it doesn't fare off too well in this competition. Though, let's not get ahead of ourselves because we still got two more tries. 
Well, now there's only one. And that's pretty much it. 68 Shelby GT500 comes up next. And I'm hoping that it actually fares out better than most of the others. Well, there you go. It's mostly a toucher, but at least it does better than most of the others. Subaru STI, which I also like. Hmm, almost makes it to the goal, but has to run a little bit further and make it through this to be declared a winner. Because it's in the rules and, whoa. And no, that doesn't count. But you still got one more chance, so. There you go. Awesome. So, that's a lot of winners we got so far. And like I've said, they could pile up easily. But now we got two timer joining in. Oh. Okay, so it's like the Plymouth Superbird, or was that Charger Daytona? Little easy to confuse the two. Huh. Looks like high wings or long bodies are causing that thing to become a problem. And that's just that. Now here we go with the Plymouth formula. Now that's one fail for you. Two fails. Let's hope you don't have a third. You don't always get what you wish sometimes. Volvo P1800 Gasser. Well, I don't know if Gassers can fare any better than regular cars. Maybe not, but let's try one more time. I don't know if that's my fault or anything, but yeah. That's pretty much a loss right there. Time for the Ford SVT Lightning. Well, following around ain't gonna do too much for you. Anything good at least. Well, there you go. That's exactly what you're supposed to do here. Now time for the Pagani Hoira. Awesome. So, looks like we got another win for this one, because I remember at least one other time where I got a win. Time for Nightburner. Well, that's one fail for it. And it's not a second fail because it wins. Aston Martin Vulcan is up next. That didn't work so well for it. Oh, barely touches the end goal, but it does make it nonetheless. Here we go. Buick GNX. Not so good there, but let's try some more. One more. pretty much over there so maximum leeway goes up next and there you go another win for you now we're down to the final tier here and I'm starting to wonder if 40 is gonna be a little too much but anyways Ford Mustang concept okay not so good there and not so good there either, so one more time. And that's that. Now it's time for the Mercedes 560 SEC. So how well is it going to do here? 
Well, not so good that it's going to be considered a winner, but maybe a runner-up at most. <laughs> That's another loss. But I really hope that it doesn't fail three times. I mean, we got plenty of winners here. It'd be so sad to be able to see more of them just leave. Oh boy. So that's basically three fails in a row for the Mercedes. And now we get to move on to a great model of mine that I own, the Vector Avtech WX3. <laughs> Had a lousy start and barely made it that far. So two more times. Okay. Woo, yeah. Awesome job. Now, here we go. We're down to the final seven racers. Split decisions up next. One fail. Two fails. Is it going to get a third? Well, at least there's some consistency here. Time for the Batman Arkham Asylum Batmobile. Alright, that's one fail. Now let's try going backwards. Maybe not there either, but let's try once more. Yeah, another win for you. 66 Chevrolet Nova is up next, or SS, I feel like it was, whatever. <sighs> Definitely a lousy start. Voila, that's another win for you right there. Gazella R is gonna be up next. Now. Awesome job, so. Three more to go. Power surge. Honda Civic SI. There you go, third time's a charm. Last model, Roland Solo. And okay, I feel like that by the time this episode's made, it's gonna be less than 20 minutes in length, which I feel like is a little long by any means. So, 40 cars might not be the default here for the groupings. And so, that's a lot of winners, and we also got some not so lucky ones here as well. But with that in mind, this is only round one of this phase. And so, tune in for the other three parts, which are all coming soon to a YouTube channel near you.